For the rest of the uh, demo, I'm going to connect the Liquid Foot 12 to the 12 Plus using um, the uh, CAD5 cable. And you'll see when I uh, plug it in, the Liquid Foot Plus is going to be the master and the 12 is going to be the slave, but uh, they'll sync up pretty quick. So let me go ahead and plug those in real quick here. blindly okay so I don't know if the cameras picking it up but uh, you can see that it already loaded as a um, expander and it immediately I uh, have the 12 uh, by default is set up for page 0 and buttons uh, 1 through 12 which obviously is going to be the same as button 1 through 12 as my default here so I could change this expander right now to uh, a different the same page it'll it'll follow the master but a different set of physical buttons so I can start the physical button one here at any number so this could start at two three four uh, logically you would probably have this starting at button 13 and putting it physically on the other side to give an example of how you would use two together in a real situation uh, here we have a configuration where this is the master, this unit is a slave connected together, Cat5 of course, and I have it programmed, uh, the page that's active anyway, uh, so that the original configuration kind of looks like this, six IA switches at the top, three presets, preset one, two, and three on the bottom, and then some bank up and down and a menu button which is also a, a, a tuner if you hold it for two seconds I think I have a program for it will trigger the tuner uh, but then on the expander I have it selected in the global menu so that the first switch actually is um, uh, pointing to um, slot 13 so 12 ends up here and then it goes 13, 14, 15. The page itself is programmed in the master so that uh, switch number um, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16 are presets number 4, 5, 6, and 7. So you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now that that page is active, I can go ahead and uh, just click a preset so this would be one two three so I just clicked preset number four by clicking preset number four you could see that it jumped to preset number four I can go to five jumps to five if I go back to two you can see that now preset number two is selected if I go ahead and change the bank and select a preset to trigger the new bank you could see that it now jumped to preset number eight and uh, it's easier to see on the LCDs here, but it's 8, 9, 10. So if I click on 10, it becomes active. It says 10 there and 10 there. And of course, I can, I have, uh, just for demo purposes, these IA switches, I'm sorry, these buttons in the page uh, selected as IA switch 1, 2, 3, 4, which happens to be how these switches are programmed. You can actually program multiple switches to do the exact same thing and that can come in handy depending on your configuration. But if I go ahead and uh, change a status, you'll notice that it also changed on this page and vice versa, of course. So I can go ahead and trigger things. And then up here, uh, well, you get the idea. Also, I have this page programmed so that when I'm on that page, uh, the light up top uh, turns blue. And of course, that could be uh, any of uh, seven different colors. But so there's a, just a quick example of master and slave configurations using a single page.